So we have apologies from Councillor Mark Morehouse, work commitment, and Councillor Dean Marie for work commitment. And also, I think we've got a substitution for me for Councillor Mark. Yes. I'm a number 12. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're all happy. Um, yeah. I'm going to say if you could vote on that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll propose Councillor. Yeah. yeah, I second him. So we're happy that Councillor. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for standing in. I'm sorry. Right. It's so important this committee. <laughs> Okay. Item two, declarations of interest. To receive any declarations of disclosable pecuniary interest from members of the respective business to be transacted on the agenda. No. No. Item three, minutes of the planning committee. To approve the minutes of the planning committee held on Wednesday the 10th of January 2024 and to consider any matters arising from those minutes not curved elsewhere on this agenda attachment one. I'll propose that the minutes are accepted by this committee, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Take the board to be the gun. Yeah. Okay. Can I just raise a point? Yeah, sure. Um, the planning decisions, just to note that uh, 23 stroke 01333. So if you recall, this was the uh, Manwood Grange um, application. I think it's the old uh, boarding houses, uh, and it included a flat roof with a, with a skylight within the conservation area. So this links in a way to the schoolhouse discussion that we had. Well, I don't think it does, because that was already there. That's an old building. It's yeah. being repurposed, and the flat roof's been there 20 or 30 years. Okay. And, that, and at that time, Manworth wasn't part of the conservation yeah. area. The conservation area was just within the wall town. Okay. Um, I think it's the only point where I can, can raise the issue that um, Councillor Murray made a public announcement that I designed for Mr Smithy and clearly I haven't. Um, he made that comment without reference to either myself or the Crown team and I have no idea where it came from. But I will continue until the Crown team finds somebody suitable. Yes, I think we are. I think they did ask and they summed the time, so you're substituting for your film ticket. Okay, thanks for returning up. Okay. Class three with the erection of a single story rear extension, replacement window, and thought and insertion of through. Location six of Peter Street, Sandwich CT 39. I don't think Councillor Lars. Yeah, so this is um, changing a retail to a residential yeah. location. It's within the primary shopping area mm -hmm. that's set out in the Regulation 19 local plan. It's yeah. currently with the inspector. And what that plan says is that we will not permit any change of use from retail mm -hmm. to residential within the primary shopping area. So my, I would strongly object to this. I would also comment that the, um, the marketing report within that um, application is, in my view, worthless. Because A, the last viewing I think was in 2017, so seven years ago. And I've seen no attempts to market this property in, in, in certainly in the last five yeah, years. I regularly nice. look online mm. for commercial properties to let, and I've never seen any evidence that this has been attempting <coughs> properly yeah. marketed. So I would yeah. strongly object to this proposal. Yeah. I would like to second that proposal and say that you know this property it's it's not been it's not been put to a proper retail use whilst yeah. it's been in existence. Mm -hmm. It's just been left and used as a residential downstairs I went to see it today 
um, looks like it's not this or, or, or what have you. Yeah, it's, and it's, it's just not suitable for people to buy these places, not use them for a retail purpose, and then suddenly to sort of put in and say, oh, we want it as residential now. So it's in the key retail yeah, area. Yeah. Um, and it comes under the DDC directive and local plan, so we should be voting against this. That's a really good reason. So when I looked at the, the documents, um, and I stand to be corrected, this property has had previous applications approved to convert to a domestic dwelling, uh, and this is ju just, from what I could see, a request to amend the previous approval, which was granted in May 2022. So the reason of the gap from 2017 in terms of marketing is because since then it has had approvals to be converted to uh, living accommodation. So I'm sort of at a, an opposite perspective. If, if it's had this for all this time, it's coming back with a new application that is um, um, taking over from an existing one. And also the application that's now submitted is in line with um, a development within the same street that has done a similar type um, extension at the back. Uh, I'm slightly confused why we would want to overturn an existing dwelling application that's been approved for a number of times in a number of years. Well, <clears throat> I just wanted to support um, comments that have been made about, um, <clears throat> excuse me, preventing uh, the uh, change of use, whether or not it applied in this particular instance, uh, you know, I'd be interested to know. But I, I strongly support the general principle that we should oppose uh, change of use from uh, commercial to residential. I think it's important to maintain the character of the central shopping area, uh, and uh, if it's approved in one case, it risks being approved in others. Yeah, I was just going to come back uh, to Councillor Tuka. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't think the decision he's talking about originated within this council. I think the decision, any decision to allow it to be converted um, was by the Dover District Council officers and not from this committee. Mm -hmm. So this committee would not have been minded previously to have allowed it to go over to uh, residential. We had a similar case in Dale Street, didn't we? Now the problem when that, yeah. that old shops were converted. Yeah. I think it's yeah, Colin was saying the board is good. Yeah, as I understand it, the, the property was originally a residential property and then was converted into a shop. So we're talking about a building which was originally built for, as a dwelling house. Uh, the door and the shop window on the street level are, in my opinion, unattractive and out of character. And on the question of um, objecting because you're converting um, a shop into a residential property, I mean, we all know that. Um, people are shopping more and more online and there is less of a demand for retail units in city centre. Um, and apparently three people have attempted to run a business in this property and they've all failed. Uh, and the property is a very small property. I mean, I, I was wondering what sort of shop could actually operate, operate effectively in such a constrained space. Um, so I'm afraid that with due respect, I, I disagree with those councillors who are opposed to this planning application. I mean, there, there is a flat roof extension at the back, but then at the back there's a window. Uh, and if there were a pitch roof, I would imagine the pitch roof would obscure the window. Uh, my only concern really was about uh, Insulation, the, the, the documents that I looked at didn't mention insulation. But otherwise, I would uh, support this planning application. Yeah, I mean, first of all, yes, there have been 
cops that are being converted to residential. Yeah. We're, we're well aware of that all through the town. Mm. So we have this kind of um, picture of you know broken teeth and missing teeth, and you walk along and, and, the, and the shopping offer is disjointed and yeah. broken up and fragmented. But um, that's not an excuse for carrying on doing it once we have a firm policy within the local plan. And what, what the local plan says, the Regulation 19 plan, is it, is it sets in stone a primary shopping area. So Councillor Fortescue makes the point that people are shopping less, that's correct. But what, what the plan does is consolidate the shopping area into a central zone. So sh current shops outside that zone could be converted. So if you think of the shops on Motsoul or Strand Street mm -hmm. or um, uh, trying to think where, where other shops are in, in the town, but it's consolidating the shopping area. Mm -hmm. And I think it's absolutely critical that all the shops within that pro primary shopping mm -hmm. area are both preserved yeah. and in some cases returned where they've been converted to retail to residential as a, a return yeah. to re uh, retail uses. And so the local plan supersedes anything that might have happened in the past because that's now the new policy and it carries great weight mm -hmm. with any planning application. Yeah, you know, when it's in its draft form, it carries weight, but now it's mm -hmm. almost at the finishing gate, it carries great weight for any um, planning application. Yeah, I remember two shops shutting in Wigginsburg Road and one in Tabarth Road nearby by the school, yeah. so yeah. that's on the periphery. I just wonder, Excuse me if I've got the phrase wrong, is this one that we should have to be told in? That was at full committee rather than a single officer? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, the, the recording in process um, has to be um, approached by uh, the district councillor. I understand yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Is it one that we should have to try and look at? I think, yeah, I think we strongly is. object to being our district councillor and then we should pick it up. Okay. Yeah. I, I would just like to say that. Uh, I was examining the, uh, the local agents and I thought it was the most wishy-washy load of stuff I've ever seen, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, some of the proposals, no wonder they couldn't make a business plan. I think they could make a tap plan, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, and we cannot, I think, afford to go on losing shops and retail places here. Personally, I shop within the town whenever I possibly can. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that I'm sometimes paying more. Mm -hmm. So I think it's important to those of us who live in the middle of the town that um, we retain some of the shops and some of the retail outlets. Mm -hmm. And the whole thing just doesn't disappear because it's just like a domino, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And uh, if we have got this a new policy and a new local plan, then surely we should be sticking to it. We've got a proposal in and a second there. I just, just want to say, Mr Chairman, that um, just to um, Councillor Fortescue, because he may not have been in the town that long, there have been a, a large number of successful businesses in there. And in fact, one of them was a, as a sweet shop. It was run there for about seven years. And an um, optician's um, antique shop, way back when, very successful um, previously. So. And, and, and it's, it's quite important, we are a market town and we need to retain that status. Part of the market town status is having shops for people to frequent and shop to. So, and, and so yeah, I think that's... Can we go to the vote then, because we've got a proposal and a second second. Yeah. Yeah. Well, those in favour of strongly objecting to this proposal? I think it's sort of the one strongly objecting. Yeah, that was Councillor Barnes. Yeah, yeah. 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 Any um, against? Are you? Oh, you're abstaining. I know. I support the planning application. Yeah. So are you against? I'm against. You're against. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and the 10 of 2023, and I've got, I've got something from here. Oh, no, the pre-warden, no, no. I've got my... Yeah, so yes. I think we can put on the pre-warden, and she's, um, she doesn't... She, she doesn't That's it, yeah, the pre-warden, um, yeah, yeah. the pre-warden supports the works yes, that can yeah. be undertaken, yeah. as long as they're undertaken yeah. to the British standard, yeah. so, which should accompany yeah. our response yeah. back to DVDC. I also want to hasten that at the end of the tree wardens um, report, there was a very important part that says that um, tree warden suggests that uh, this is to do with the felled tree, by the way, one of them is going to be felled, yeah. contribution towards um, an urban or yes. rural tree yeah. Yeah. should be put in place. And I think that's very important to say that that should be engaged with and that something should be replaced. Yeah. So, yeah. Can I just double check? Is that against this application? I, I sorry, I, I, I could be wrong. I thought that was against the Kent Renewable Energy Limited application. Was it? Yeah, I, I believe so. I think that was. Yeah. Yeah, I think because it's, there's no there's no um, way of um, balancing with the. Um, they should just do it for a man isn't it? Yeah. yeah. This yeah. is man Yeah, yeah. yeah. man yeah. 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 So, so we. Mm. to add the comments that this is the one that um, um, the warden previously mentioned sure. about yeah. Yeah. We, we need to explicitly state that thing yeah. so it's looking for a contribution towards an urban or rural tree Correspondence to receive and consider correspondence relating to planning matters, including 
verification of appeals and get refusal of phone applications, please note that none to consider that Thomas is a tinder. 12. Verbal updates from our David Diffie Council on matters relating to planning. Yeah, and um, Councillor Morehouse did send his apologies for the meeting this evening. He said sadly he, he wasn't able to um, provide a report. Thank you. Thank you. Could we, uh, Mr. Chairman, could we, if, if the Dover District Council isn't able to attend, could we just ask if he could submit any updates that he has? I mean, in particular, with the Fellowship Walk. Yeah. That's, uh, I believe that's just gone through its um, um, just, deadline. Yeah, oh, just deadline to, on. So just to clarify as well, Councillor Morehouse says he's unable to provide any DVC report. He's not had access to the DVC email account. Technical oh, services yeah. are currently yeah. investigating, yeah. but the situation will not be resolved until his iPad has been uh, issued and is replaced with a laptop. Yeah, getting in. Yeah. 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 So, in, sorry, in terms of fellowship walk, the, the deadline is the 12th of February, so it's a week, five days away from now. Yeah. So it would be helpful, as, as you say, to yeah. 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 ask yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Item 13, date of next planning committee meeting, 14th, 4th of March 2024. Meeting closed. There's a There we go. Whoa. <laughs> Is it a record? <laughs> 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 it's quicker we won't get out of the car.